what is going on everybody and welcome back for some more starfield we are picking up the mission right where we left off we had the whole situation at the lodge yeah so now we are headed off to figure out what that word meant the unity so let's go see this i guess it's something like a church and see if they have any answers for us or the preacher When someone insults you, you want to just beat the shit out of them sometimes, but you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Accept it. And deliver it not back upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy. But you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can... just... love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah. Why even bother? Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Oh, Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Uh, let's see. We think that the church is connected to a group of space weirdos. Uh, or should I leave it all to Mateo? Uh, this is all you, Mateo. Keeper, we were hoping to talk to you about... Unity. <laughs> You want to subject your friend here to one of our talks, Mateo? The future of humanity is always a long discussion. No, that's not exactly what I meant. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Even just the sound of his voice is comforting, I guess. Well, let me just run ahead of you guys so we can keep it moving. Oh, now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you to here? Well, it started with the discovery of these anomalies, the artifacts. We were attacked by a group called the Starborn. We found a series of temples that grant unusual powers. Let's go with this one. We've lost people, Keeper. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And these Starborn, I take it they're different from the people of the settled systems? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I know it's a stretch, but we hope that you can help us don't need a lecture keeper i need answers this is a mistake i'm an explorer not a priest okay i think i can if you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer i can give you a path to discovering his meaning there's an old story far older than the sanctum universum of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it this pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. Mm. Let's hear this story then. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment 
and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Infinitum addendum? That's an odd saying, very specific. Sounds like the House of Enlightenment and the Varun have the other parts then. Unless the story includes a set of coordinates, we're not finding anything. I agree. I think you need to talk to them about this unity pilgrim. And clearly, not just in a theological sense, as I have. Hmm... The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. All right, go for it, Mateo. Do your investigation. We are off. So we got options. Talk to the House of Enlightenment. Or talk to the Varun prisoner. Go to the House of Enlightenment. one's this one which one's in the well the house of enlightenment is in the well and then the prisoner okay but yeah let's go into the well Excuse me, it's all in my way. Keep it moving. If you're looking ah, this is the House of Enlightenment. I've seen it. Excuse me, sir. Where are you going? I do our jobs. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, you're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a unity pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. Um, let's see. If you're going to recite meeting notes to me, I want coffee and donuts. You've talked about... Okay. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. 
So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Maybe there is a hidden message. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the wreckage of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. Alright, now well, let's talk to the Verum prisoner. Was she locked up by UC security or something? Yep. Well, granted, yeah, of course she's locked up by UC. She's a prisoner. Duh. Come on. I should know better than that. Excuse me. We're just walking here. I got guns. People joke. Say those of Arun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. A visitor? I have all the company I need. I know you've talked to Keeper Aquilus about Varum's faith. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Yeah, let's go with this. The knowledge of the Great Serpent sweeps away all concern. There is only his inevitable return, and those he will spare. Nothing else. You wish to speak of the Keeper's Pilgrim, do you not? I will tell you of him, and then you will leave. Jinan Varun meets the unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the great serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the unbeliever down. But the unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the great serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. There must be more to your god than just killing. Strength and conviction show your worthiness to the Great Serpent. The kill is not as important as showing there is no doubt. I grow tired of speaking. Leave me. Alright. Oops. I made a wrong turn, went into the lockers.
<laughs> New Atlantis puts on a wonderful show of security, does it not? Is something amiss? Oh, I thought she wanted to talk about something. Alright. Let's go back and save Mateo, because that dude's probably been talking his ear off. If I can try to save my oxygen. Nice. Made it here and barely hit the red. I wonder where Mateo went. Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories? Like we thought? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. What else did you learn? Uh, okay. Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum at four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the Pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? There's something scared out there bringing everything together. It's just a word. And I need to take responsibility for finding it, not pray. Only total conviction will bring us the truth. We are being tested. Oh, oh there's something sacred. I said something scared. Hmm. <laughs> conviction. Another word for strength. Can the truth not be revealed to the weak? Someone with doubts. Isn't doubt the very opposite of belief? Mm, I don't find the answer by doubting every step I make. Your only path is forward then? 
finding the meaning of unity is a totality that you cannot ever step away from? Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. Wait. We know where we're going. I find the How you doing, sweet pea? Well, I'm okay. But I'd be a lot better if... <laughs> Let me guess, you'd be a lot better. Oh, there's also a scanner anomaly over here, too. I guess I'm heading towards that. trying to get as many scans as I can get that XP and also get those credits when I turn it in This is a trick. What is that, some sort of satellite, or is that an outpost? I'll see if I can get a chance or remember to take a look at that when we get out of here. Actually, we're right here. Oh, it was some sort of outpost. They just got a few health things. All right. Made a concerted effort to survive here, and yet it would seem it did not 
not work out. So we're here. Now we just need to find what we're looking for. Ah. Book. Let's dig around the camp for unity references. Another writing. If you came seeking the right answer, you will know what question to ask. What is unity? I return your question with a question. If you have read my writings, what is the burden of people? Crap, I didn't read it. People are necessary, but people are madness. They're too heavy. People got to go on diets. We all seem to end up just fighting each other. Okay. Who is your most formidable opponent myself where does enduring contentment come from in growing becoming stronger nice school this is an answer but not my answer find my writings read them closely crap okay let's take a quick look at that stuff. All right. Okay, the credulous simplicity of mundane humans never ceases to amaze me. My worst instincts, the evil spirit, draw me towards a form of contempt from them. But I remember that I am privy to that which they are not. I cannot and should not judge them for a lack of vision. When I know very well, the blinders will obscure their sight. I once wore myself, after all, I hope for their sake that they may someday understand. But for my sake, I wish to be left alone. Okay. So here in the crux of my troubles, to accomplish anything, I need to work with other people. I need assistance. I need workers. I need hands. As we work together, the inevitability asks questions, and I can never help talking. It starts innocently enough. They want to understand how someone who believes in science can also believe in the divine, or they have their own misunderstanding instilled by some borderline religious remnant. My weakness is in my inability to let alone. I want them to understand, so I try gently as I might to nudge their minds along the right path. Then there are follow follow-ups and followings. The trouble is that I generally care for these people. It would be so much easier if I didn't. I'm assuming I'm missing one writing because that didn't tell me anything. Ah, right here. Oh my gosh, there's five volumes. I find myself thinking about various past and possible futures. I imagine continuing on the road, acquiring more power, more knowledge, more development of myself. And I imagine passing through once more to another world to begin the process anew. There's a notable here. The road does seem gratifying every step of my instincts, my in, yeah, instincts, reward and my, I feel myself anticipating the pleasures of seeing a more contended vision of myself. Then for the sake of considering all possibilities, I imagine if I took a different path, 
if I stop running, stop seeking to gather my own power, if I instead embrace the twinges of compassion I feel in my heart and let myself care for people who seem to gather about me whenever I try to work, if I simply lived and taught and perhaps brought others to the light and died, the road also seems gratifying. And I also see a contended version of myself in the future. Here's the difference though. When I stop thinking about the glories I could achieve for myself, the pleasure fades nearly immediately. When I stop thinking about staying and building something, the feelings endures. There is something more sustaining about it, more fulfilling. I don't know what the difference signifies, but I gratify, I'm grateful for the time I've taken to notice it. Okay, so I, let's see if I can get in there now. I've done read all his writings. Let's see if I can get that, you know. I think that one's right. Yes. Okay, so the only thing I got wrong was the compassion. You came here seeking the true meaning of unity. If you still wish to find it, there is one final piece of myself in the next room. I found my own answer a long time ago, but not in the way I was expecting. I hope your journey gives you the truth. I don't know what the correct answer is. I might never. Increasingly, though, I am comfortable with not knowing. The more I reflect on being here in this world, in this time, the more I think it is precisely where I need to be. This time will be different. It won't be about me. So I won't have to run. I can actually build something with intent instead of scrambling to fix something that others create in my name. It can be something beneficial. I can be something beneficial. I'm leaving behind that other person. This world has no place for me. Let him die. Let him live to enlighten and bless the universe before me. You have found the end of my journey, but to know everything, you must find its beginning. On Hyla 2, the island hides the scorpion, and the scorpion's sting hides the truth. Okay, anything else interesting in here? Some credits. Tom's relay. Don't need any of that stuff right now. I checked all of these, right? Yep. do it the other way. I should be able to get to at least there. Alright, perfect. And then I'll jump out of grav drive. And I should be able to finish. Should be the next planet over. Nice. Two jumps, two jumps. Easy.
ancient ruins. Landing site's clear. All green here. Oh, it's got breathable air. Pleasant to see you. He didn't seem like he wants to fight. It's a good thing I didn't shoot him. Statue. Clearly some connection to the creatures in the area. What could it mean? What does your scanner reveal? Find the corp scorpion's thing. I need to somehow activate the glyph. Okay, so I somehow have to I have to trace it. Here we go. Go to the last star of the constellation. Yeah, I'm not understanding what it wants me to do. Let's see. to actually follow the star chart okay i was sitting there messing around with that thing forever let's jump to then surrender or be destroyed. Thanks, sir. Who is the second starborn? <laughs> I told you I would leave you alone, and I did it. Don't make me regret that decision. You killed one of their own. They have good reason to feel threatened. All of our 
us should feel frightened by each other. That comes with the territory. The question is whether you take the risk and talk to us. Alright, that's dark. That's dark. Introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Um. Yeah, just tell me who you are. Who are the Starborn? We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. It doesn't justify murder. And who gets to say that? You? Me? The Emissary? I have debated morality for near infinity. And all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. Not a relatively expendable Dusty anymore, are you? Look at where you've ended up. What? Is some kind of cruel trick? I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> this universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. Uh, but both of you are trying to keep it from people. So this unity is where the artifacts are from? The temples? You know what? Yeah, I need to see it for myself. That's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the K 
chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? You've been to Unity multiple times, what does that mean? Hebrew Quillis? No, some other version of the same person. Well, clearly, because we just saw Barrett. Yeah. It means I've seen thousands of universes, collected their artifacts, been to their temples. You have a small taste of their power, but it keeps going. You mean yet? Go through the unity a thousand times and you'll gain a better perspective. I have hopes for you. Higher hopes than the other members of Constellation. They all end up like the Emissary. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. So I will help one of you recombine our artifacts into the unity. I'm not helping someone who murdered my friend. Whatever war is going on between you two, I want no part in it. So should we help one of them so we can enter the unity? Or should we just... This is pretty much, I, I guess this one is, we're going to kill the Emissary, because he's the one that went to the, the Eye, and I guess this one would put us with the Hunter? Okay, so I guess this one's with the Hunter, this one, or this one's with the Emissary, this one's with the Hunter. All right. Let's go with this. Don't you understand what we're talking about? There's an infinite number of your friend out there in the multiverse. One is right over there. Besides, why fight me again when you don't have to? I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the Hunter's? Yes, let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. So, I can either talk to the hunter, talk to the emissary, or leave altogether. Oh, oh man. So it's either we, I'm still trying to debate this whole situation. So if we go with the hunter, it just, it's a free for all for the unity. If we go with the emissary, he's going to try to keep it safe from other people like the hunter. But then again, maybe, I, I don't know. But if we leave, then we're just on our own and we're probably going to piss both of them off. And have to fight both of them. Okay. You know what? If anything, I'll go with the emissary. Now you have more questions. This Ask. is Barrett. I'll tell you everything I can. It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion, or is it testing us? 
You've seen the terror the hunter causes. Every time a starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. You might think the Unity is meant for whomever can get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. Yeah, you call them a hypocrite. They enter the unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the unity itself doesn't judge. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit, you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary. To decide what to do about you. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. Sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me hacking through Constellation, and it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own, that's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. Though we're not the same people we met in our universes. Still, it's good to see you again, old friend. Okay. So how do I choose? I just have to leave the Scorpius? Oh, okay, I just leave now. Alright. I thought I had to choose right now. I didn't know if we was about to fight there. I didn't know what was about to happen. Final glimpse, return to the lodge. Oh, you know what? I have something for you, Sam. It's good to be out and about. The lodge gets stuffy sometimes. Uh... I'll carry anything you need. Well, within reason. It is a note. 
Note for Sam. There you go, dude. Okay, I just stored that. Okay, good. I was about to say, please don't tell me I just took all of that stuff out of the... Out of the cargo. Nice, I could just land straight at the lodge. If it were not for the lodge, I think I would avoid this city. It is all just too much. Fortunate that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge, are we not? Yeah. Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to bear it. I'll be there, Noel. I promise. I'll try, but you never know with me. Always getting pulled here, or there. No, I can't. No, we'll be there. Thank it was you. our Barrett. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. It's the center of the multiverse. We're building the way to it. It's the infinite number of me out there. I feel sorry for all of them. Barrett is alive, a version of him from another universe. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind, enlightenment, or oblivion, like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. Hmm. This is our mission to go into the unknown. Think of what awaits us, a new life, the powers of a starborn. We should all take the time to think about what this means. Yeah, I mean, that's how you guys got it started. Right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. My mind was... These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon.
Thanks, Vladimir. Catch a smile out there. Okay, obtain a ship with 21 LY grav. Okay. So I can do that. So let me I will do that in a second. I do want to Should be able to find something in Seoul. Yeah, let's go to Seoul. It is interesting to recall that this is where humanity first reached out into the stars. Hmm. To its old ways. I suspect the soul system would be abandoned otherwise. Possibly, yeah, because Earth is just a barren wasteland. So her saying that it's one of the few last settled places in this solar system. same spot okay not too far go back to my missions board I was like, what's all that noise? It's just Vasco being loud. Oh, corrosive environment, planetary condition. Not good. Oh, oh. What about the unique design? I wonder if it is for show or serves some particular purpose. Maybe I should have been a little bit sneakier. Get into combat mode. shooting 
What the hell? Oh. Go ahead and set that dude on fire. Cold here. Too cold to be safe for sure. Good. in here solvent all right let's head up I gotta find a way to turn that thing off. The hell is he hitting me with? Let's go. Get off. Ain't no need for all that noise. Are you? Outside. Oh, the glass. Yeah, why would it be open? Yeah, that's kind of dumb. And with this stupid alarm. Am I stuck? What am I stuck on?
Oh, I almost died there. And absolutely crushed. Take those credits, though. left again with this damn alarm Vasco was guarding the ship. Good on you. It is good to be back in our own ship. Dust off complete. Orbital insertion completed. I gotta at least get one. Oh. Nice. There we go. Slow down, slow down, pump brakes. Nice. Just got to try to swing behind this guy. Oh, come on. There he is. Return to the 
should give him everything we got. Taking a beating. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix my ship. All right, so we're gonna have to head back in and get the ship fixed because, yeah, I took a lot of damage, especially on my grav drive. And I do not want to go fight the Crimson Fleet or whoever we had the mission for with my ship in that sort of condition. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. In the next one, we will finish off this other uh, mission I picked up from Sidonia, and then we will continue with the Starborn Saga. So until then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.